subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Well, Cyclone Batsarai is currently a Category 4 on the Saffir-Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale at 18.2 degrees south, 58.4 degrees east, heading directly towards Mauritius and La Reunion, likely to scape both coastlines with tropical storm force winds before moving towards Madagascar. The storm currently has winds of 130 miles per hour, or 210 kilometers per hour, with a pressure of 940 millibars. It was moving west-northwest at 7 miles per hour when Matteo France updated this, and you can see that wobble there, although again, that southerly movement does look to be more dominant now. Well, let's take a look at the CDPS scale. It's a stage 7 for Ambala Vantaka. Uh, this Saturday, with major wind speeds, major rainfall, major storm size, and a major overall threat to land all being there. Again, that's a stage 7, meaning catastrophic damage is currently possible with this storm, wherever it does end up hitting. There's some uncertainty with the exact landfall point. You can see now the Tropical Storm Force wind fields, the largest quadrant there that's going to the northeastern side at 120 nautical miles out. You can see they're nearly impacting that island there. Mauritius and La Reunion both could get Tropical Storm Force winds over the next couple of days with this. Well, speaking of Mauritius, they're in a Class 3 warning at this time, 136 miles away. That's how far the storm is from La Reunion. The storm is 248 miles away. Uh, they're in an orange cyclone alert at this time. Rodrigues, this thing is 369 miles away from you, but it is not expected to strike you. And in Madagascar, you can see the variety of places currently in a green cyclone alert. According to Madagascar, that means the preparations need to begin being made now and we're expecting some upgrades once certainty does begin to increase on where the storm is expected to go. Let's take a look at the intensity here. 130 miles per hour is the current estimate. JTWC a little bit higher at 140 miles per hour. You can see all of our intensity estimate methods that we have lagging behind. That's because this storm is rapidly intensifying. Constraints are not really capable of being broken properly on those methods. Here's the code from Matteo France. You can see, again, tropical storm force winds possible for Mauritius and La Reunion. And then as this thing moves into Madagascar, it's going to be rather strong, currently anticipated to be a Category 4 on the Saffir Simpson scale when it does make landfall according to Matteo France. Anywhere really along the eastern coast of Madagascar needs to be watching this closely as uncertainty is relatively high and anyone within that yellow area there, that cone, you have the risk of a landfall occurring for your area. So this is something that needs to be watched by Mauritius, La Reunion, and Madagascar. Sea surface temperatures are looking very good for the storm, 27 to 28 degrees Celsius at this time, and they're only looking better as this continues to move towards Madagascar, with 28 to 29 Celsius waters being what this storm is going to move into. So this is going to be a rather significant storm. We could see further strengthening. I can't rule out a Category 5 hit here. Uh, we'll just have to see what does end up happening. But again, Category 4 currently forecasted. Here's the h wharf model, and you can see that wind swap there. Category 2 landfall expected from that, and you can see as well the rain swap. That's going to be the biggest threat with this as well. Over 24 inches of rain, that's over 600 millimeters possible in some areas. You can see here the intensity guidance. It's already falling behind, but the DSHP looks to be the best contender so far. When it comes to wind shear, that's going to be very low for the storm over the next few days, meaning that conditions are very conductive for it to strengthen with that. Sea surface temperatures are also going to be conductive, and mid-level relative humidity is expected to increase. So all conditions are indicating that this storm is going to have a very favorable environment to strengthen in, all the way up until those hours of coming to landfall as the shallow shores next to Madagascar could lead to problems with sustainability for the storm. You can see that eye beginning to pop out on water vapor imagery there as the storm does continue to move towards Mauritius. You can see there more clearly on the infrared is that eye is really starting to come out on the storm. And you can see on the northern side there, those rain bands and stuff. So luckily it doesn't look like too much of that rain is going to hit Mauritius and La Reunion. You can see here on the infrared much more clearly just that wrapping of minus 80 degree cloud tops around this storm. Very dangerous storm indeed. It's one that packs a punch. It's one that has some power. On the visible we can see as the sun does rise that eye of the storm. You can see the previous day and now the current day as the storm does continue its move towards Madagascar.